you stretch it? How far can you stretch it? How far can you stretch your hand? Come on, come on. Let me see you stretch your hand. There, there. Is that easy to do or, or not? What about Mia? Can you do it? Huh? Stretch your hand. There. See, it's very easy to do. Huh? Very easy to do. Okay, we got about 30 seconds before we go live. Wake up, wake up, everybody. Wake up. <coughs> <clears throat> Even my voice is still sleeping. <clears throat> Wake up, Chevelle. It is 7 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. It is a Monday morning. It is September 11, 2017. 9-11. 9-11. Folks, let's uh, uh, remember our... Um, our brothers and sisters who perished in the 9-11 uh, attacks in New York um, and elsewhere in those uh, tragic accidents. Um, let's remember them today in our prayers. Uh, we can offer the Mass. Kids, we can offer the Mass today for the victims of 9-11. Okay? And uh, not only 9-11 per se, but all the... Uh, the aftermath of that, everything else that happened uh, to the people there, to their families, and how how that affected the entire country. Um, let us remember everybody in our prayers this morning, well, the whole day today, especially at Mass for us. Okay, okay folks, Gospel for today is taken from St. Luke chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. Okay. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath. He means Jesus. They were watching Jesus to see if he was going to cure on the Sabbath. It was a Sabbath day. And you know, the, 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 the Jews had this funny notion that on a Sabbath day, you cannot do anything. It was a do-nothing day for them. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to be a day of worship, okay? Not necessarily a do-nothing day, but uh, they, you know, they, they had that wrong impression that you cannot do anything. You cannot even do anything good, see? Which is what Jesus was trying to correct here, see? He was trying to correct that notion. But he realized their intentions, okay? He realized that they were trying to trap him. They wanted to trap him and see, you know, what he was going to do. And he said to the man with a withered hand, Come up. He called for him. Come up and stand before us. And he arose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? rather than to do evil, to save life, rather than to destroy it. Looking around at them, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored, was cured. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do. To Jesus they got enraged why because Jesus was doing good all the time Sabbath or no Sabbath right in season or out of season Jesus was doing good all the time and he was doing good for people and what did he ask of this person with a withered hand, what did he ask of him? What did he make him do? Huh? Stretch out your hand, right? He asked him for something very simple. One very simple act. Stretch out your hand. Okay? Now, folks, God... 
wants to do good in our lives every day. See, every day, in season or out of season, Sabbath or no Sabbath, Jesus is always doing good. And He's doing that good in our souls every day. Every day. There is no good or bad time for Jesus to do good in our soul. And you know what good that is, is doing in our soul? He is transforming us to become saints. Okay? That is the good that Jesus wants to do in our souls. He wants us. He wants to mold us to become saints. Okay? Every day. Every day. That is what he's trying to do. Mold us to become saints. And look what he asks of us. He just says, stretch out your hand. What does that mean? That means that Jesus is only asking us a little bit of effort on our part. Right? A little bit of effort. Do you think that by stretching his hand, uh, this guy with a withered hand could have cured himself? Uh, this guy with a withered hand would have done the miracle of, uh, of curing himself? Of course not, right? It was Jesus' work. It was Jesus that cured him. It was Jesus' miracle that cured him. But he needed to cooperate. He wanted this man to cooperate with a very, very simple act. Stretch out your hand. You see, the same thing is true in the effort to become saints. So God wants to make us saints. Okay? He called us to become saints. He commanded us to become saints. He said, be perfect as, as your heavenly father is perfect. Right? That very simple, short uh, sentence, short command is, is full of, of uh, all the expressions of the command to become a saint. Right? He wanted us to become perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. But is anybody perfect? No. Why not? Oh, yes. <laughs> right? okay, nobody's perfect. We were all born with original sin. It's, uh, we, we all have the tendency to commit sin. In fact, we do commit sin uh, quite a lot. That's why we need to go to confession very often. Right? But our Lord commanded us, be perfect as my Heavenly Father is perfect. He's calling us to become saints. But then he said also that, well, you know, for you men, okay, it might be impossible. But nothing is impossible for God. And look what he's asking for. He's asking for something very simple. Stretch out your hand. The only thing he needs from us is a little bit of cooperation. That's all he's asking for. Cooperate with some very simple acts, little acts every time that He invites us to become saints. Little acts, little things in our everyday life, right? He did, not, he did not tell this man to do something spectacular so that he becomes cured. No, He just said, stretch out your hand. Now, how simple can that be? Right? How simple can that be? Now you see, in our lives, Jesus is asking us for the same things. He's asking us for some very simple, very little actions that He, He, Jesus, will convert into a magnificent act of sanctity. Why? How will that happen? Because He's going to give us plenty of graces for those very little simple acts that we do. See? For example... The, the, the effort to stay awake. See? Uh, if you feel sleepy while you are at Mass or while you're praying or uh, while you're studying and you feel a little sleepy, if you just put the effort to open your eyes and uh, put some effort in staying awake, well, Jesus is going to make miracles out of that. He's going to give you the grace to be able to make use of that hour of study to really learn. See? If we feel lazy to pray, if we feel like we don't want to even put up a smile uh, towards somebody who is annoying us or pestering us, eh? or um, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, um, what, what other examples can you, can, can you give about little things, little things of every day that we can convert into big miracles? Eh? 
Come on. Let's say somebody is annoying you, pestering you, right? And you give that person a smile instead of putting on a long face or being rude to that person. What do you think could that create? See? What do you think, what effect do you think that's going to have towards that person and towards you? <clears throat> right? God is going to shower you with plenty of graces for having exerted a little effort to be charitable and nice to other people. Yeah, huh? yeah what's that? Um, you're picking up what? Oh, okay. P picking up your clutter or putting, putting things in order at home or in your bedroom. See? The little things that you do to put things in order, Jesus is, is asking. That is the stretching of the hand that Jesus is asking you at that moment. And he's going to shower you with plenty of graces just by doing those things. By, by doing the dishes, by making sure that that counter, the kitchen counter is in order and it's not full of uh, uh, things that are not supposed to be there, right? By paying attention at class, for example, when you are uh, in school, right? By paying attention to your school work, by being punctual, by being punctual for your appointments and not, not putting up all sorts of excuses not to be there on time, right? To be... Um, uh, what else? To be put attention in your prayers, to pray intently, thinking about what you're saying, see? avoiding distractions at work, uh, during your time of prayer, or, uh, or whatever else you do, right? So many little things. Little things are the, are the stretch of the hand that our Lord is asking from us. And He is going to make use of that little effort to make us great saints. Big saints, like uh, like like uh, the, uh, Saint Teresa of the Little Flower, like uh, another Teresa, Saint Teresa of uh, Teresa of Calcutta, they, uh, who who uh, have talked a lot about uh, uh, little things and how little things could be great in the eyes of God and great means to become saints. So, folks, pay attention to those little things. Um, big things come from little things. So if we pay attention to little things, great things can happen. And one of the greatest things that can happen in our lives would be for you and I and all of us to become saints. And yes, sanctity is a great thing. Sanctity is a big thing. God is asking us to aspire for that. And He is not asking us for the impossible. We know. How do we know? Well, there have been plenty of saints already, right? Heaven is populated, millions of saints in heaven. So uh, God is not asking for the impossible. He's asking us for something that is really, really within our means to do. We just have to stretch out our hand. Stretch out your hand. Put the little effort in everyday things. They don't have to be big things. You don't have to wage a, 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 a war or go out marching in the street for anything or uh, change the world. or Little things of everyday life can make you a big saint. Okay, folks, that's it for us this Monday morning. We're off to Mass. I hope you have a very good day today. And please pray for the victims of 9-11. Wherever you are in the world, let us pray for the victims of 9-11. And uh, not only those who perish there, but their families and all the other consequences that uh, came about as a consequence of those. Okay, what is that, Mommy? You were saying something? Oh, sorry. Okay. Bye, folks. Have a good day.